here. I don't know why I always say it's Susan Lazarhart here. Susan Lazarhart here. <laughs> That's better. Ask Susan Sunday Live, your place to ask the kind of questions you've been thinking about and perhaps didn't know how to pause it, didn't know that you actually had a question, and then you popped in here and it's, oh my God, can I ask you a question, Susan? Absolutely. What are we talking about today? <laughs> hey, Paolo, welcome. Uh, what are you waiting for to change? So you might have noticed that we've been talking a lot about change, change, change. Hey, Sharon, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Dee, hey, Sandy, woohoo, the gang's all here. How does it get any better than that? I'm so excited. Tell us where you're from. As you say hello, we have an international community here. And if you know of an Ask Susan member that would benefit from this call, tag them. Tell them to get on in here. Hey, Erica, welcome, welcome. So. Uh, just waiting for a few seconds for the algorithms to kick in to let people know we are live and we are live and alive. Hey, Shalini, welcome, welcome. Ooh, everybody's popping in. Yay. So one of the things that I've become aware of, hey, Rosanna, welcome, is that uh, in talking with people over the last week, I've heard a lot of I'm waiting. I'm waiting for my money flows to come in. I'm waiting for the right kind of job. I'm waiting for him to change. I'm waiting for her to change, right? So there's a huge, 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 hi Maureen, huge difference between being present with what is, right? And not jumping in and having to rush and change and do and busy, 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 hey Sonali. There's a big, huge difference between being present and asking questions and being in the question and waiting, right? Because when we've decided I have to wait, that means I'm putting myself on hold. Is this making sense to people? Let me see a thumbs up or a heart or yeah, baby, right? So how many times have you been taught to put yourself on hold? Just wait till he calls you. Just wait till she connects with you. Just wait till you get the answer that you want. Just wait. Don't be rude. Don't be aggressive. Don't be. Don't be. So how much do, are we connecting, waiting with not letting anybody see who we actually be? Yay, I got a thumbs up on that one. Terrific. Hey, Rebecca, welcome, welcome. So that was the awareness that I, was, I had. I was like, what, is, what are people talking about this week? Oh, a lot of people are talking about, I'm going to put myself on hold until he dies or she dies or until I get the money or until I look like what I want to look like or until I act like when I... Well, you know what? You're the boss of you. <laughs> and it's not about being busy. It's about being present. So I'm a gardener. And uh, with the garden, I, I, I'm not waiting for the blueberries to show up. I'm being present with what, what does this garden require of me today? You know? So you could ask, what does my life, my living, my business require of me today? Knowing that there could be money coming in over here. Knowing that perhaps there's an interesting relationship over there. If you put yourself on hold till someone else chooses you, what have you decided you are? Who have you decided you are? And are you actually willing to be present with you and what you require? So this is a, not a dialogue or a monologue. It's a conversation. Come on in with your questions, right? There was somebody I was talking to this week and we were talking about money flows. And I, was, I asked them, why don't you just ask for all the money that was ever owed to you in any lifetime to show up now? And I was cleaning up some of my files and I I've been asking for more money to show up. Why not? Right? I'll have that. Show me the money now. Hey, Patricia. And I opened up a drawer in a file and I found eight different currencies of monies having traveled for 14 years that I had put away thinking, oh, if I go back to this country, I'll, I'll have the money. And I was like, wow, thank you, universe. Show me the money. Hey, Christine. Right? So I'm not waiting for money to show up. I'm willing to have money show up no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, no matter where it is. Do you get the difference? It's the willingness to be present with your ask. And what is it that you're willing to be and do to shift and change what isn't working for you? Yeah. So, uh, questions. Hey, Martine, welcome, welcome. Hey, Parveen, welcome, welcome. Anybody have some questions on this one? It's like a, yay, I got some. Thanks, thanks, thanks. It's a huge one in people's lives. You know, this is your life. Life, it's life, it's living. It's not a, it's not a noun right? It's, it's an active engagement in everything you be and do. Now, we're not necessarily told that when we're little. We're told to keep quiet, wait your turn, right? Stand in line, wait your turn. 
right? Wait to be awarded the award. Wait to be acknowledged. Wait to be shown the value of you. Well, is that really what's working for you? Because <laughs> if it's not, you can really change it by being present, right? Hey, by being really present with what is it that I'm asking for? And there are some things, you know, you can ask and you'll say, hey, I asked the universe, it didn't show up. Well, sometimes the universe says, okay, I require uh, some time, some space, some energetic movement in order to create what you're asking for, right? So you also have to be in partnership with the universe because the universe rewards action. Not, it's not the do, do, doing. But if, I hadn't, if I hadn't chosen to actually check out my 10%, right? Put it in. I couldn't find where I used to keep my 10%. So I'm, hmm, what's a new place I can keep my 10%? Oh, universe, show me where. Oh, look at this drawer filled with packets of money. How does it get any better than that? Right? You, oh, I got a thumbs up. You actually have to be willing to put in action what you're asking for. And again, it's not, it's not pushing your way through. It's the willingness to be present with what you're asking for and stop waiting Right? Start listening to the, to the hum, to the tugs of the universe, to the tugs of your, what you put out there. Anybody have a question on this one? It, it's, uh, it, uh, oh, I got a thumbs up on that. Because <laughs> uh, for me, I'll give you another example. I've been working on this book, Fearless Every Day, and it's been taking a couple of years, and I change every year, and, and it, every day, every nanosecond, and, and it's like, huh, what is this book actually asking for? And I've seen it go through different ways of being. And I was at a conference in Burlington, and I thought, oh, I'll go to the local bookstores and see what they have. I couldn't find a local bookstore. Interesting. I ended up at the big box store, Barnes & Noble. And in this Barnes & Noble store, there was somebody who was on the floor. And she was ask, I was asking for some books. She was asking me, what, what kind of books are you interested in? What do you do? And I said, well, I'm a life coach, a relationship coach, and would you like me to show you where I find my books? And I took her over to some roomy, and then over to some psychological, and then over to some life, and then over to here and over there. And she said to me, you know, this is so interesting. I'm never on the floor. I am actually the buyer for this, uh, this area. And uh, everybody else is in a workshop. And she gave me her card. Hmm. Right? What was I at? What am I asking for? That communication that, oh, here's somebody that when my book comes out, I could call up and say, hey, would you be willing to open up to a conference with the people in the area about being fearless? What could that look like for you? Who do you know? Right? And that's because I'm asking. I'm not waiting, but I'm also in the, in the, the energy of gifting to my book. Right? I'm not writing it down right now, just gifting to my book. Okay, D, we've got a question here. Sorry, I've got an elastic. Uh, okay, here we are, D. Sorry, guys. I, I still have my cast on, so it's a bit. Um, I, just, I just started asking questions of myself when I start waiting for signs t uh, to show up to indicate now is the time. I started asking, is now the time to begin the new steps? It's been helping. Is there another question to ask when I realize... Uh, I've slipped back with waiting for signs and not diving in. Again, I apologize. I, this arm is still a little cracked over here. So thank you for your patience with me blocking the view. Uh, yes, D. So that, I love that question. It's about being present, right? So is now the time? Yes, no. Hmm, okay, cool. Universe, show me when the time is, right? Sometimes you can write, you know, you, some people have a book in which they write all their ideas down and they look at those ideas and ask, oh, is now the time? It's not about giving up, right? It's not about giving up on what you're asking for. It's about having everything that you be and do contribute to who and what you be and how you be. So you could be giving classes, writing a book, uh, raising horses, uh, do, you know, working on a garden, raising children, visiting grandchildren, having a love life, whatever that is. It's what's your foundation, right? Where, where, where's that coming from? And so if you're willing, oh, I got some hearts and thumbs up on that. If you're willing to ask the question from there, right? Um, are you really slipping back waiting for signs? Uh, or have you been waiting for signs? And now perhaps you're aware there's a different possibility, right? The thing is, one step at a time, baby steps. Oh, what does this project require? Huh? 
Is there somebody I can talk to? Is there something to listen to that I haven't been aware of? Is, is, is like, what is this asking for? Let me know if that, if that rings for you and let me know for people watching. Oh, I can't do this. Anymore. Okay, let me see. Ah, la, la. Hey, Beatrice, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I love this. I've got an elastic around my phone, holding it onto something, playing with a cast. How does it get any better than that? I love it. Yay. Uh, Dee says, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Because it, it's, you know, there's another thing here to it. I love that, Dee. Thank you so much. I'm just so grateful for your question. So how many of us don't listen when the information comes in? Because it doesn't match the point of view that we have about how something should show up, when it should show up, and where it should show up. Right? Sonali. Can you uh, please elaborate more on waiting for the signs and the signs from the universe? Oh, okay, cool. So I think I'm, that's kind of what I'm doing. We often have a point of view of the way something should show up, right? Oh, I'm going to earn money. It should show up like this, right? Well, if, if the universe is gifting you all the time, right? All the time. So um, it's up to me. Okay, so cool. Here's that great example. Thank you. It's up to me, having met this person at Barnes & Noble, having her given me her card, it's up to me to then reach out to her, communicate with her, thank her for the meeting. Oh, so delighted to have met you. Uh, let's keep in touch. Can, would you mind if I contacted you? You offered, you were so generous with your offer about my book. Would you mind if I contacted you when I, I got the book up and running? So the universe gave me information. I followed it. Now it's up to me to match the gift of the universe. So now, does that make sense? Is, that, is this making sense for people? Right? We get information all the time. It's the willingness to, to follow up with it. So instead of diving in, right? As you said, Dee, it's are you willing to match the vibration the universe is sending you? Let me know how this, uh, Sonali, let me know how this rings for you. And for anybody who's listening, yep. Oh, good. We got some thumbs up from Sonali. Yay. Cool, cool, cool. It's really important because we're gifted information all the time. And hey, Wendy, welcome, welcome. We're gifted information all the time. It's the willingness to actually be present with it. And, and the question could be, is now the time? But the universe just sends you these little, little, uh, little sparkly trinkets all day long. And we choose, oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, this works for me, this doesn't work for me. They're always there, right? It's your willingness to be present and stop waiting for it to show up for him or her or your money flows or your business or your body to show up the way you've decided it has to show up. So I might ask you, um, is, do you have any, um, are you making it significant what you're asking for? Do you, have you given it a timeline? If it doesn't show up by this, I'm gonna be doing that. Again, that's putting you on hold and your brilliance on hold and the way you play with magic on hold, okay? As you wait for it to show up the way you've decided, it should show up rather than following your knowing being totally present with your ask oh so now it says thank you yay yes cool 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 any other questions on this one you can tell it's a hot day in vermont <laughs> i'm sweating sweating away with these questions yeah i love i love these questions they they really um there's no such thing as a question that nobody else has right it's it's the willingness to be present with what isn't working and then ask questions from there you know i know somebody who is working and uh caretaking with their children and their job is pulling them all different ways and they have the choice do i do i take this job do i not take this job well does it match the vibration of what you're asking to create right and it could be that you dive into something that doesn't work for you and shift it so it does so everywhere you're waiting for the perfect body, job, partner, sex life, whatever that is, would you be willing to give it up? Because it ain't happening, right? You've got to, what is your foundation that you play with? And expand it way out. And then ask from there. Yay, oh, I got lots of hearts and thumbs up on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Yay. Well, uh, if we have no more questions, I'm going to love you and leave you. Uh, again, just play with this for the rest of the week. We've been, people have been asking, hey, you're talking about change a lot. Yeah, because change is, right? Change is, it's who we are, it's who we be, right? And if you're waiting for something to change so you can actually 
Hey, I got lots of hearts and thumbs up. Yay. If you're waiting for something to change, stop and ask yourself, who, who, who does this waving belong to? Who are you taught? Who taught you? Just be patient. Good things come. Oh, what's that quote? Good things come to those that wait. Really? Okay. I'll have the good things and, uh, and I'll be present with everything and I'll be playing with everything all at the same time. It feels like a lot more fun to me. And it's, it's again, when people say, yeah, but you have to wait for the garden to grow. You have to wait. No, it's about being present. I go out there every day, energetically contribute. Being present is totally different than waiting. Being present doesn't mean you have to be busy doing. It means you're aware of what's required, what could change something, what could shift it. Being in the question and then going for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So I hope this helps you all. Um, let me know, uh, is this uh, ringing for you? Is this kind of what you've been asking for, for with Ask Susan Sunday? Uh, if not, write me, tell me. Say, hey Susan, I have a question about this, I have a question about that. I love it when I hear from you. And for, if you're watching this later, press hashtag replay and write in your question, I check all the time. Uh, Roshi, being present uh, is to have fun, to enjoy the moments, absolutely. And sometimes, you know what, I'm present with what's going on right now. Sometimes it's not fun. <laughs> but I'm aware that my, my body is shifting and changing. And so I talk to the muscles, I talk to the bone structure. Yeah. Yeah, and everywhere that, thank you, Roshi, everywhere that anybody's waiting to have fun. Well, you are the fun. You are the joy, right? Awareness isn't always, oh, it's so fun. Awareness sometimes is like, Hack. I can't believe I bought that as real and true. Oh, well, that was interesting. Cool, thank you for that awareness. Not waiting around anymore for that. <laughs> yeah, very cool, very cool. Oh, thank you, Brooke. Thank you so much. Yay, yay. Sonali, ah, thank you so much. Thank you for being awesome at the, <laughs> right to the end. Thank you, Sonali, thank you. Wist listening to, thank you, Dee. Oh, I love you guys, Uh, You know what, thank you everybody. Live boldly, love greatly. And be that fearless leader you came here to be because the world needs more of you, not less, right? Be the change that you came here to be. I wonder what we could change together. Adore you, catch you next Sunday and come on in with your comments. I check all the time. I love you. Bye-bye.